the Navy sees a giant object moving in the water, but when they look closer, they were shocked. Elephants are surprisingly agile animals for their enormous size. They can run at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour, and their young are able to hold their bodies up and walk on their own within mere hours of being born. In fact, after only a couple of days, baby elephants are more than strong and fast enough to keep up with walking and running alongside the adults in their herd. But can elephants swim? Amazingly, elephants are excellent swimmers by nature. Almost all mammal species are born with the ability to swim. Only a few outlier species such as giraffes and camels haven't naturally evolved the ability to swim because they aren't exposed to much water, and humans and the majority of other primates must learn through trial and error. The body of an elephant, despite its enormous size, is more than enough buoyancy to keep it afloat even when it isn't actively swimming. They can simply stop swimming and let their bodies float just above the surface if they grow tired, just like humans and many other species of animals can. Elephants swim by simply doggy paddling through the water with their enormous legs. They can swim constantly for up to six hours at a time thanks to their strong legs. To get food and shelter, they frequently travel over vast bodies of water in groups, or they use lakes and rivers as detours. On an average swim, an elephant will keep its head and body just under the surface of the water as it paddles its massive limbs back and forth. However, it will keep its powerful trunk raised above the water and use it as a sort of snorkel so it is still able to breathe even when the rest of its body stays in the water for hours at a time. This means elephants almost never drown. Swimming is a surprising pastime for many elephants, especially among babies and juveniles. Aside from swimming simply to get to where they need to go or to keep their bodies cool when traversing their scorching hot habitats, these gentle giants actually enjoy swimming for pure enjoyment, too. Elephants are highly social and curious and will even play in groups within their herds. They will often swim together and splash one another with their limbs and trunks when they come across bodies of water. The coming stories are an incredible example of that, of course. The Sri Lankan Navy prevented two baby elephants from drowning after they were washed out to sea. This was the second incident of its kind to occur off the island within the past few weeks. The Navy reported that a pair of wild elephants were successfully towed back to shallow seas and brought ashore on Sunday following a monumental operation that included Navy divers, ropes, and a flotilla of boats to get them back to the area. Photos showed the elephants struggling to keep their trunks above water in the deep seas around half a mile off the coast of Sri Lanka. The elephants appeared to be in great discomfort. The Navy issued a statement that read, Having successfully escorted the two elephants to the shore, they were then released in the Foul Point jungle in the Trincomali area. They were really fortunate to have been noticed by a patrol ship, which then called in many other boats to help with the rescue, said the captain of the vessel that made the discovery. A similar rescue mission was carried out by the Navy two weeks earlier in the same place in order to save a lone elephant that had been washed five miles off the coast of Sri Lanka and into the deep waters of the Indian Ocean. According to officials from the Navy, the animals were most likely swept out to sea while the ship was transitioning shallow lagoons in the area. Dramatic video footage depicts an elephant being rescued by the Sri Lankan Navy after being swept eight nautical miles, just under 10 miles out to sea. During a regular patrol off the northeast coast of the island, officials first came upon the elephant. The creature was having a hard time staying afloat. The elephant can be seen on video breathing through its trunk while almost completely submerged in water. According to Sri Lankan Navy officials, the animal was taken out to sea while attempting to traverse the Kokulai Lagoon, according to agents France Press AFP, which broke the news. The lagoon is situated between two areas of jungle the elephant may have been attempting to cross in the center of an animal sanctuary. To take a shortcut, they typically wade through shallow rivers or even swim across, one officer told AFP. In the footage, many Navy personnel can be seen swimming from a ship while wearing scuba gear and tying ropes around an elephant. One person even climbed up onto the elephant's back to assist in guiding it to safety. According to the Navy's website, the animal was eventually led to land and put into the hands of wildlife authorities. The discovery of an elephant swimming is not particularly remarkable. The enormous bees swim completely submerged and use their trunks as snorkels since they're buoyant in the water. Elephant Voices co-founder Joyce Poole stated in an email to National Geographic that elephants are regarded the best swimmers of any terrestrial mammal perhaps excluding professional human swimmers. After seeing video of the rescue, Poole said that the elephant appeared to be worn out. Even elephant swimmers have achieved fame. An Indian elephant named Rajan, who was 66 years old when he passed away last year, was well known on YouTube and appeared in several motion pictures, where photos of the 12,000-pound animal show it floating through the water. They can swim for pretty extended periods of time, but if they are unable to rest, they will become exhausted. 
The Navy intervened on the grounds that the elephant would have burned through too much energy swimming and that the extended contact with salt water might have harmed the elephant's skin. Asian elephants are considered to be endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and are seriously threatened by logging and habitat degradation. Although many of these animals are hunted for their meat and leather, the majority of males and females in this species lack observable tusks, which leads some to believe they are less at risk from poaching. Elephant populations in Sri Lanka have decreased by roughly 65% since the turn of the century as a result of an increase in deforestation on the island. The legislation in Sri Lanka now protects elephants, and murdering one carries severe punishments. Actually, there are other surprising animals who love water, and you wouldn't even expect them. People aren't the only critters who enjoy causing a commotion now and again. When Dana Smith raised the question on Facebook, my four-year-old wants to know can pigs swim, the response was no. This week's edition of Saturday's Weird Animal Question of the Week took a look at some traditionally terrestrial creatures that enjoy the life of an aquatic creature. Swine Dive According to Billy Higginbotham of Texas A&M University who writes in an email, pigs are superb swimmers, which allows them to traverse water to look for food sources, escape danger, or look for better habitat. For instance, all of the tremendous rainfall that occurred in Texas during the previous month prompted wild pigs to move and in some cases swim out of bottomland areas and seek higher territory. Some of them are even known as beach bums. Big Major K in the Bahamas is home to wild pigs, some of which will swim with tourists. According to Aaron Schultz, who works at an environmental education institution in the Bahamas called the Cape Olothera Institute, local history has it that Europeans originally stocked the islands with pigs so that they could replenish ships returning to their home countries. On the other hand, it is not known how the creatures arrived at Big Major K. Schultz hypothesizes that over time the pigs connected boats, boat engine noise, and tourists with food, which is how they learned to swim out to the alluring delicacies in the first place. Spider Octonauts There are many types of spiders, however, fishing spiders are not among them. Catherine Scott, an arachnologist at Simon Fraser University, attempted to take a shot of a six-spotted fishing spider. However, the spider evaded her every time. After some time, she made the connection that the sneaky small kid was swimming underwater. These spiders can stay submerged for up to half an hour, giving them ample time to either escape their enemies or seize their prey. Aquatic spiders are surprisingly fond of fish. According to Scott, they are able to breathe underwater by entrapping air in the water-repellent hairs that cover their abdomens. On the other hand, they are not the sole species of scuba spider. Spiders known as diving bells capture air in webs that surround their body like the equipment that gives them their name. They are able to remain submerged for extended periods of time thanks to the oxygen that diffuses into the bell from the water all around them. Dog Paddling Cats It's not true that all cats despise water. According to the National Zoo, the critically endangered fishing cat of Asia is an excellent swimmer and fishes by tapping the water to simulate insects and then diving in after their prey. The species is found only in Asia. The Turkish van is well known among domestic cats for its peculiar affinity for the taste of water. Moose Munch According to Vince Christian, a retired wildlife biologist at Manitoba Conservation and Water Stewardship in Canada, North American moose have a big summer job to do in a short time, shedding and regrowing winter coats and antlers, which are two-thirds grown by the middle of July. This is according to a statement made by Christian. According to what he said in an email throughout the early part of the summer, these exceptional swimmers gorge themselves on aquatic plants like bladderwort, ribbon grass, and yellow water lilies, all of which contain salt and minerals that are renewing. Moose swim for a number of reasons, including to beat the heat, get rid of annoying flies, and escape danger. Moose mothers in particular often swim to islands to give birth so that they can avoid being attacked by predators. Even the children are able to swim. However, there are occasions when they simply like playing in the sprinklers. Well, friends, this is the end of this incredible story. We hope, as always, it has been to your liking. If you enjoyed, give us a like, leave us your valuable comment, share on your social networks, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in this way, you don't miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us in the next one.